lapping waves disrupt the quiet of this Bayside Cemetery on Johnson's Island. It's the final resting place for more than 200 Confederate soldiers. But the sound of change is marching closer and closer. Confederate statues, monuments and markers covered, defaced and deconstructed across the country. Some believe they symbolize racism, but to Don Young with the Johnson's Island Preservation Society, it's simple. That thing was put here to honor these soldiers who died for a cause they believed in and are buried in this cemetery. And that's it. The Southern soldier unveiled to a crowd of 1,200 on June 8th, 1910. To have anything happen to it would be atrocious. 107 years later, he stands tall and untouched. He says, I'm guarding you guys buried here. I'm looking out for you. Looking out for men like John J. Nickel, hanged on Johnson's Island for being a spy. Nickel was among the 9,000 Confederate soldiers imprisoned here during the Civil War. It's a history some residents seem to embrace. 99.9% .9 of these people here want this cemetery here. They want that memorial there. Not washed away by the tides of change. And just to be clear, Young says he can't speak for everyone on the island, but he does believe there is overwhelming support for the cemetery and memorial. The property is owned by the Veterans Administration, and Young is asking police to keep an extra eye on everything after what happened in Columbus earlier this week. In the newsroom, Sarah Finney, News 5.